I think Kevin broke. Where's the reset button? <laughs> Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Nelson Chapman from Mulan. We are back with another sneaker review. And to my left, you guys already know who it is. Yeah. Kevin Lau. What's up guys? Alright, so what we got here today is a mini throwback. Throwback. Which is not, not even a throwback, let's be honest. Kinda, uh, yeah, it's not really a throwback, but it is a fairly old shoe. It's more of, damn, Hoopin Lock, you guys are late. Super, super, super late. Alright, so we got the, the Nike, Nike Hyper, Hyper Rev 2016. Y'all probably thinking like, yo, Nail, Kev, this shoe came out back in like January. Why y'all doing it so late, like right now? And for like, for whatever reason, we never picked these up. Uh, I don't know why, but you know, recently Kevin just picked these up at, a, at our local outlets, you know, yeah. for a steel deal. And we were gonna hoop it up, so we were like, yo, might as well just do a performance review on them. So yeah. that's that. So here we go. Here we go. There it is. Start off with the traction. The Nike Hyper Rev has a diamond grip pattern rubber outsole that provides multi-directional traction. The traction on these are pretty solid, I would say, you know, whether it's a dusty cord or like a really nice clean cord. Uh, occasionally, you'll get a wipe here and there, but I would say these are pretty solid in terms of traction. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I have no complaints on the traction. Definitely a lot better than some of the other shoes out there. For materials, the Hyper Rev has a stretchy, full-length mesh neoprene booty that offers a snug, sock-like fit. On top of that, there is an overlay on the Velcro strap and toe box area for better support and durability. The materials on the Hyper I feel like, you know, are pretty good. Uh, it's very soft, it's lightweight, and it's fairly comfortable, I would say. Yeah, I would have to agree. These are pretty lightweight, flexible, and I like that it wasn't too restricting on my foot. Yeah, the only thing was, on the lateral side of the shoe right here, it was kind of restricting at first. I just had to break in a little bit. I'm not sure it's because I'm wide-footed, and this part right here, it was kind of pushing on the side of my foot, like kind of where my pinky toe is. Is that right? That's the only part I was bugging, but after a few wears, I didn't feel it anymore. Okay. I didn't really have that problem, but what I did have is in the beginning, I felt like the shoes were a bit stiff. But overall, the comfort on these, you know, in terms of the materials, are fairly good. Moving on to the support and lockdown. The Hyper Rev has a molded heel counter for a locked in fit. It has a huge midfoot strap to keep your forefoot strap down. The support and lockdown on the Hyper Revs, I feel like is the feature that I like the least. You know, I had to tie the laces really, really tight uh, due to the fact that at times my heel would move up and down. Not necessarily where you have full heel slippage, you know, where your heel will come up because due to the soft light booty fit, you know, that usually doesn't happen. But then at times my heel still moves up and down a little bit. So that's why I have to tie the laces pretty tight. Or I have to velcro the strap really tight, but at times it tends to actually fall off. So I didn't have any problems with the heel slippage like Nelson mentioned. My foot stayed pretty containing in shoes. The only problem is the, the strap right here. When I'll be playing with these in game, sometimes the strap would come off. And then it just seems like a strap, but actually the strap plays a big part in feeling contained yeah. on your midfoot. The strap is very, very supportive, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But it does tend to like come off. Mm -hmm. And when it does come off, it and it's like, like this, it's like this whole medial side is like super soft. Yeah, it feels weird. Like neoprene, so it's like, it's like nothing. Yeah, it feels weird because then your, your, your toes are contained right here and yeah. your, your foot back here is contained. But once the strap comes off, this middle part feels kind of like loose and yeah. it's just a weird feeling. And then some it feels wobbly. It feels yeah, wobbly. wobbly. It'll kind of be in the back of my mind. Uh, then I have to keep restrapping it. And then sometimes it'll keep coming off in game. So yeah, that, in that's the, the annoying game, part. In the same game, I have to keep restrapping, restrapping. And then sometimes the laces get caught on there. So. Oh, that, yeah, that's another thing I hate about Velcro straps, man, yeah. when the laces get caught on the straps. For a cushion, the Hyper Rev has zoom air units in both the heel and the forefoot with deep flex grooves around the cushion units, along with the Phylon midsole. The cushion on the Hyper is very responsive while maintaining a very low profile feeling. The cushioning on the Hyper Rev, I feel like, are kind of similar to one of my favorite hoop shoes of all time, the Kobe 6. You know, it even kind of has like the same kind of midsole hey. shape. Oh yeah, 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 there they are. Where are you? Where are you? Hiding my shoes? Like, look man, you gotta see, these are Kobe 6 BHM, you can kind of see like the layout of the two shoes. Hey. Yo, man, why did you pull out my shoes from? What did you put? Would you find these things? But yeah, as you can see, the, the cushion setup is fairly similar to the Kobe 6 uh, due to the fact, you know, it is very responsive. And, you know, Kobe 6 is one of my favorite hoop shoes of all time. So, uh, yeah, I would say the cushion on these are really good. As for comfort and size fit, these shoes fit true to size. Well, since you said you have wide feet, you know, they say at times this part might, you know, hurt, you know, all the wide feeters. But I feel like, like you, didn't you say, like, when you break yeah. in, like, you wouldn't have that At first, part. I felt it, you know, bugging me on the side of my foot a little bit. But after a few wears, it broke in pretty well, and I didn't feel it anymore. As far as pricing goes, the Hyper Rev price varies. The standard Hyper Rev model, the standard colorways retail at $110. But the colorway Nelson has here, which is a Friday collaboration, retail at $150. Yeah, $150 is steep though. But let me tell you this, like I said in the beginning of the video, we copped these for a steel price, mm -hmm. and that's why we're doing it. So I copped these for $70. 
and you got these for 50 50 see 50 dollars and 70 dollars very good price yeah 110 is still a pretty good retail price for a performance shoe like this you know like i said this shoe performs better than a lot of much expensive shoes but for sure you can find these at your local outlets or online yeah. stores for a discounted price and for my overall rating for the 2016 nike hyper rip i'm gonna give these an 8 out of 10 i'm gonna give these an 8 out of 10 uh, these are a really solid shoe in my opinion i like how they feel i like the cushioning they feel like the kobe sixes the traction overall comfort were pretty good uh, i feel like the only downside on it for me is the support like i said the strap will fall off from time to time but overall really solid shoe especially for the price mm -hmm. 110 retail uh you kind of you can kind of pass on that a little bit i feel like but you know anything under 100 bucks i feel like this shoe is money i would definitely agree with most of your points Personally, for my liking, I'd give these an 8.5 out of 10. So, I like how responsive and low profile these shoes were while being pretty comfortable. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. The only reason I wouldn't give this high rank is how hard these shoes are to put on. Oh, yeah, yeah, I had a, yeah, yeah, totally yeah. forgot to mention that earlier, but I had a lot of struggle to put on this shoe. I like can see the opening is just this little booty opening right here. This and booty? And I don't know, maybe I had a fat foot, wide foot, forever, for whatever reason, I had to kind of jam my foot or stretch it. I couldn't put the shoe on if I was standing up. I had to sit down. Yo, but I like the booty though. All right, guys, thank you for watching a performance review on the Hyper 2016. Once again, guys, we're sorry this video came so late. I know these shoes came on January 2016. It's November 2016, but better late than never, right? Yes, sir. Again, I will put some of the links, you know, for you guys to cop the Hyper 2016 in the description box below. Make sure to check that out. Also, make sure to follow us on all our social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook page. All that will be in the description box below. Make sure you check us out. You know, follow my boy Kev. You know, put his Instagram and all that stuff in the description box below. Watch this video over here, watch that video over here. Uh, find my little head icon right there. Make sure to subscribe, you know, for everybody who's new to the channel. Um, we do a lot of sneaker reviews, we do a lot of basketball content. So, you know, welcome to the family. Thank you guys once again for watching that video. Until next time, we out. Peace.